Do any of y'all do this to clean your truck? Many of y'all have been asking, I have been listening. So today I will share with you how I set up my trimmer rack and how I secure my tools. Just kidding, I'm not gonna show you. Okay, I'll still show you. Dun, 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 dun. So we're gonna pretend that I am the mower right now. We are gonna go up the ramps. Actually, first, let me show you how I built these ramps. So all you need is these two little metal ramp lips. I put the link to the product in the description of this video. I think they're $25. It's just these two little pieces of metal. You simply put a drill bit onto your drill to drill two holes and then the kit comes with both of the lips and all of the bolts needed. And you just put it through and you bolt it. That's it. The wood I used is a two by six and I believe it's eight foot long because I have a long bed. I think most regular truck beds are five and a half or five foot. But I have a long bed because I wanted a long bed, so I got eight foot pieces of wood. So now we're gonna go up the ramp. Dun, 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 dun. Exhibit B is the wheel truck system. So my mower does not have a parking brake, some do, mine doesn't. And in the past, I would experiment with putting my mower sideways. I would use bungees, I would use pavers and bricks to keep it from moving, but it always roll around. It wasn't until I just sucked it up and said, you know what, I'm gonna just drill holes into my Rhino liner and I'm just gonna make it look proper. And that's what I did, or it doesn't look proper, but it works properly, I mean. So I just got screws, I just bolted it in, I put an extra piece of wood because sometimes I hit the brakes and it would go smash my basket. So this is working perfectly and it keeps my mower nice and secure. So exhibit C is the trimmer rack. So when I was building out the trimmer rack, I originally wanted to put it on the side of the truck like I see on everybody else's trucks. The problem was I was pretty sure I was gonna have to weld it. I don't have a welder and I felt like doing it that same day. So I just got a bunch of pieces of scrap wood and I built my own trimmer rack towards the front of the truck. And the benefit to this is you can reach over the side and grab all these things very easily versus if the trimmer rack was right there, you'd have to block off a lot of it. I don't know, I've had no problems with this, but I think over here would be just as fine, it's up to you. But it just goes to show that there's more than one way to skin a cat. I've been doing this for a couple years and I like this setup, it's very easy to reach over. So with the trimmer rack, there's these two little holes in my rhino liner and there's also a little carabiner clip bolted in. I just got a piece of wood, I just made it fit, built it up, I secured it with some L brackets I believe they're called. And the trimmer rack itself, I have the link also in the description. I think it's around 100 bucks more or less and it holds three tools. I just use it for a rake and my trimmer. And the last thing is my blower security is I just have a chain that won't go past the lip of the top of the piece of wood, so I'm secure. Now I know what you're thinking. Zach, this little tiny chain and this little tiny padlock is not gonna protect you from a thief trying to steal your equipment. And you are absolutely correct, my good sir or madam. If a thief wants something, they are gonna steal it. And if you've never been stolen from, then you will soon realize that a thief has superpowers and they will find a way to break through whatever you have set up if they really want your equipment. I could get a bigger chain, I can get a bigger padlock at any time. Maybe I'll do it after this video, maybe I won't, but I'm just showing you what I got right, meow. If you want to secure your mower, then you could find a way, either I have a place down here or over here to put a chain and chain it up. And that's it for my setup. The setup is very simple. Like I said, most people put their trimmer racks over here. I don't, I like being different. I think I'm a special snowflake and I do what I want. So I found a way, you'll find what works for you. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I'm gonna go eat Chipotle, I think. See you guys later.